the drugs and the vaccine targets which have been made for malaria have been unsuccessful. And that's mainly because people still do not understand very well how the parasite develops in these two organisms. One is where the disease is, which is a human being, and the other is the vector, which is a mosquito. So the, uh, the vaccines and the drugs which are developed are not understanding these different developmental pathways. What we are trying to do is to understand basic biology of these parasites. How do they develop? How do they divide? Can we understand this, whether it is in the human host or is it within the vector? And if we understand what proteins, what is essential for these parasites to grow and divide, maybe we can arrest them, whether as a dr by drug or by vaccine. The mosquito larvae are kept in trays of salted water. I come in every morning, I feed them, I hoover up the pupa and then I put them in the cages for them to hatch. One of the great strengths at Nottingham University is that we have an insect room. My job is to ensure that the mosquito breeding programme carries on so that we can feed the female mosquitoes malaria parasites. We feed them malaria-infected blood so that we can study the development of the malaria parasite. There are a number of proteins which can be very crucial for a parasite to grow, to divide and even to get transmitted from one host to another. So what we are trying to understand is not a protein which will affect only one stage of development but many stages so that even if we make a drug against that particular protein, so even if parasite escapes, let's say, at one stage, next stage it can be killed. So we want a multi-target stage protein which is then can be either made as a vaccine target or can be made as a drug target. How close are we to that? There are many, many uh, candidates which are both in the drug in, in the drug trials and also in the vaccine trials. Now, the problem is that the parasite is very smart. It knows how to mutate and it can also overcome certain proteins because other proteins can take over the function. So we have some targets, but how close we are, I cannot say. There is a lot of, lot of research going on in this area to get a drug or a vaccine. And there are only two drugs which are effective and the parasite is developing resistance to these drugs. What we are trying to look at those drug targets or those vaccine targets which are multi-target so even if that mutates and goes to another stage we can target them and that is the approach that we are trying to look for to understand how parasite divides in different stages. So Nottingham as far as my group is concerned is important because we are trying to understand parasite development and those molecules not only in the human host but also in the mosquitoes and that has been the neglected part. So if we have a complete picture maybe we can design more rationally the drugs and the vaccines.